for the New York Times in Tacloban, the Philippines. The city of Tacloban in the East Central Philippines has been devastated by wind and water, the result of one of the most powerful typhoons ever recorded in the Pacific. Driven by sustained winds of more than 140 miles an hour, the ocean rose almost like a tsunami, so that within minutes, homes hundreds of yards inland had their ground floors submerged in seawater, and water swirled waist-deep through the second floors for those houses that had second floors at all. Many died not just in single-story homes, but in churches, schools, a sports stadium, and other buildings that had been chosen as wind-resistant evacuation centers, but proved to be death traps when they began filling with water. Uncovered bodies still lie along the roads here, and the roads themselves are hard to recognize because they are so clogged with debris. Well, we've been following this all along, and it's finally happened. The Gochi satellite, also known as the Ferrari of space, has crashed back to Earth. The European Space Agency said the Gochi, which had run out of fuel on October 21st, fortunately caused no damage after re-entering the Earth's atmosphere Monday morning. U.S. tracking data suggests any surviving debris safely fell into the South Atlantic just off the tip of South America. Gochi's slender, fin-shaped construction was able to maintain a stable orientation until very late in the descent. Engineers monitoring the last hours of the satellite from Europe's Space Operations Center in Germany observed Gochi as it kept a straight-on approach, dipping deeper and deeper into the atmosphere. The ESA says the information acquired from its successful mission is being used to understand ocean circulation, sea level, ice dynamics, and the Earth's interior. I'm Matt Sampson, The Weather Channel. A top official from Japan's fisheries agency is trying to dispel concerns about marine products from Japan's northeast coast. He says the agency will make an all-out effort to inform people that the products are safe. He says the agency will make an all-out effort to inform people that the products are safe. Masanori Miyahara says radioactive substances have been detected in seawater within the nuclear plant's port since the accident in March 2011. But he says the level outside the port is mostly below detectable limits. South Korea has imposed a ban on imports of Japanese marine products from eight prefectures, including Fukushima. The Olympic torch has been taken into open space for the first time in history as part of the torch relay for the 2014 Sochi Winter Games. A pair of Russian cosmonauts took turns to wave the unlit torch some 320 kilometers above Earth while outside the International Space Station. Inspired by the firebird of Russian folklore, the meter-long red and silver torch weighs almost two kilograms on Earth. It will light the Olympic flame when the Games start on February 7th. This is part of what will be the longest torch relay before any Winter Olympics, and perhaps the most spectacular publicity shot. We were reported to have six animals yesterday, six turtles. We brought them in and they are in cold storage. And 10 other turtles have been reported today and we're going to be bringing them in. So we send a team of uh, uh, rescuers. Uh, they'll go up there, they'll be properly trained. Uh, they will examine the animal if it is dead or alive. If it is dead, it will be photographed, measured, and put into plastic bags and will be brought to a facility to be necropsied. No, we have not found any oil directly on them. 
Um, however, we'll have to have a necropsy to be able to determine if there was a direct or indirect effect of oil. Uh, the weather has been kind of rough, so there's a combination of factors that, that could have contributed to it. Yes, I mean, these animals, if they were exposed, and like I said, we can't really tell, uh, they would uh, end up having respiratory problems or uh, gastrointestinal problems resulting from eating any type of contaminant, uh, contaminated fish. There are several species. Uh, the most endangered is the Kemp's Ridley. We have the green a turtle. We have the leatherback. So there are a number of species that are either threatened or endangered.